his ego and his fucked up ways make him kind of bad. But like, he could be a good person. Like, he's smart as shit though. Like, far as his rap shit, A and R type shit, like finding the next big thing or know what's going on. He's smart as shit. Nobody can outthink him. Like, that's one thing. Another thing, he's smart as shit. Like, mm -hmm. way smarter than you think. He can be a label. He really can be a label. Like, A and R, he know who gonna blow up next. He know everything. It's fucking mm -hmm. go. And I watched him go from nothing. He had nothing. He had zero dollars, zero cent. Broke, just an idea. I watched him go from an idea to what he is today. You got to give him some type of credit. Oh, that's brutal. though. He went from zero to nothing. He had an idea. He had an idea. His idea became to what he was coming today. He seen that shit in his own vision. Got to give him some credit. Cannot be a hater. You cannot hate that. I watched the nigga go from this to that. Mm. So obviously he knew something. Mm. Damn. <laughs> nah, that's love. That's shit. That's if y'all want to hit good shit. Because I ain't got to say all bad shit. No one motherfucker probably would have said that. Nah, you ain't got to say all bad shit, though. It ain't really. It is what it is. The street should just be overrated. It be the streets hyping this shit up. Like, niggas don't be really beefing this shit. It be y'all hyping that shit up. Like, me and Shy, if we was one on one, we was on the back street together. And he had a gun, and I had a gun. We was walking past each other. We wouldn't kill each other, bro. We wouldn't even fight. Like, what would be the purpose? Only way he got to act like that, because he got to keep up his image around the people that's around him. Me, I don't be around mm. nobody. I'm in control of my own opinions, how niggas move, and I don't give a fuck about none of that. He got to keep a certain, for, a, a, to keep his control. It's like you build this shit up on hateful ant. So to keep your control, you got to run with this hate, even if you don't really hate him. This is how you got your control. It's like a nigga can be in the DMV right now. He can be a bum ass rapper, but if he make five mixtapes about dissing me and someone, he just hate me. I promise you, he can get signed by Glizzy Gang just off the hate from me. The hate from me alone could get you to shine Glizzy. Why is that though? Yeah. If we was walking in a, <laughs> if me and my men was walking in a building, and they was cranking Shy Glizzy, I dance to it. Me and my friends. If Sha was walking in the building, he heard an ant song, he liked the song, and his friends was dancing to it, they'd be in trouble. He'd cut their ass off. They'd never be able to hang around him again. Damn. That's fucked up, but that's, damn. That's just the, I don't know. I don't know, bro. It's just, that's just the way. Bro, it's a like, million glizzies. Why, why, why am I the only one ever got sued for using the name? The nigga who really started from the mud with you. Mm -mm -mm. Who the fuck am I that you gotta sue me? What the fuck do I got that you gotta sue me? Mm. That's what I'm saying, this shit don't even make sense. I be saying the hate of that shit, like, don't hate a nigga. Just let me be great. Now you can't stop it. Like, I'm already gone. Like, there's no way you gonna say Shy Glizzy without saying Aunt Glizzy. There's no way you gonna say Aunt Glizzy without saying Shy Glizzy in life. Like, them names are connected for life. I don't give a fuck which way it go. <laughs> you can even Google that shit. If you Google that shit, Google might tell you that's my blood brother. Mm. Shit. He said Google. <laughs> oh, oh man. Damn, but it's like that man got so much animosity towards you though. Like I ain't really I don't really care though, bro. I'm like, I'm in my own lane. I'm so gone right now. And I don't need like I don't really care for that shit. Like that shit old for real. It's like it's old, bro. That shit childish, bro. My nephew think I'm be with Shad Lizzie now. My nephew tell me to squash that shit, but that shit is nothing. That shit ain't no beat. That shit's old, bro. <laughs> shit was ten years ago, like. Niggas still 10 years ago, like, bruh, leave me alone. I don't even care no more. Fuck that shit. Like, 10 <laughs> years ago. Nobody died in 10 years. Leave me alone. Next beef. Or do something. Like, I'm to the stage where I'm trying to have kids, raise my kids, turn my kids up. They don't, don't never got to see the hood. That type of shit. You think I'm trying to be out here on some local <laughs> rapper beef shit? First of all, I'm not going to be the nigga that ever that. I'm not going to be the nigga that ever killed him. I don't want him dead, bro. I don't got no animosity that guy. I know you saw that blog on YouTube, man. That motherfucker that did like 300, 400,000 on you and shit. What? You ain't see that guy? Yeah, the little they, the joke they did for King Von. Yeah, but that, they did one they did one on you and Shy. <laughs> I'm hip, but that's what made me realize. And at the end of that joke, they said they could have been this, that, but they let something, some fall. They act like the legacy over, bro. If Shy would have watched that interview, bro, that made me realize. We stupid as shit, bro. We got the world looking at us stupid as shit. It was corny to me. Because it's like, now they looking at us stupid as shit, bro. And it's not really that, bro. It's a rock of pride shit that's going on. That like, fuck the pride, bro. Like, stop bluffing. Like, now you just making it look weird to the world. Now they talking about shy this. 
and that they beefing. I ain't beefing with that man. I swear to God, like the internet made that shit a beef. I just say what I want to say. Do that mean we beefing because I vouch, I voice my own opinion? That shit make mm. us look goofy as shit. When I heard that shit, they talking about, yeah, they could have been this, they could have been that. And I'm like, damn, yeah, bro, they come just gave that. up on you the nigga. Like, damn, I feel top. like we started with nothing. If we started off with nothing, zero dollars, zero cents, just the name, and I made it to who I am today, and he made it to who he is today, you don't feel like we made it? Mm -hmm. Coming from Southeast, bro, we from Southeast, nothing, bald head, nothing, like straight ass naked, nothing. EBT, car, bro, I'm at Glizzy today, bro. I'm Bob or something, bro. I'm household name in every fucking household, bro. Mm. I started with nothing, bro. Fuck is you talking about? I feel like I made it, bro. All this shit is mine. Everything you see is mine. Even the clothes I wear, this shit mine. All this shit is mine. Own this shit, bro. Say so. Stop dissing Shot Glizzy, Glizzy and call him. Say what? He said, "Stop dissing." Somebody's in the comments. Stop dissing Shot Glizzy and call. It him. don't be me dissing Shot Glizzy. It be me. His friends jump out of line. I expose they ass, and then he gotta come. And cover up for them because it makes Glizzy Gang look so bad. And if Sha don't say nothing, it just make his gang look so shitty. So he got to jump in it to take up for them. That be the threes, the Kevin Nichols, and all the weird niggas that be in my comments and none of my pictures. They stall as they father come save them. That don't be me. Mm. That do not be me. <laughs> nah, for real. Control your runners. <laughs> if you control your little runners, you be all right. Mm. Damn. Nah, for real, man. Shit. I ain't got no shit. I don't want a motherfucker, man. Shit, I ain't got nothing to do that shit, man. It ain't even nah. no beef, bro. That shit old. Nah, for real. Good <laughs> shit. Wash up, bro. People think me and Shaq Lizzy beefing that shit in the comments. I don't even give a fuck about it. Like, I'm not beefing with my wife. No problems with whatever he do, he do. Mm -mm -mm. He said, she said, if you don't got no problem with Shaq Lizzy, promote the mixtape. I don't got no what? He said, if you ain't got no problem with Shaq Lizzy, promote his mix, like, it'll promote his mixtape. I could have made that big that mixtape the most talked about mixtape in the city, bro. I'm so much of a marketer, nigga. Look at this. All they had to do, they could have cashed me out. Shout out to you. He gave money. Could have gave me a little five bands, right? I would have gave him my chain, my Bob's son chain. I'd have let him take a picture with it and all that. Before that shit dropped, they promoted that they out here they brace at all this and all that. <laughs> Drop the tape there. After the tape come back, we just post the picture of me and him standing beside each other like it was some joker shit. He go on about about his life. I go on about my life. But that tape is so motherfucker talking about because the ant shit that brought the extra 10 million people to that motherfucker. The ant, the ant incident would have blew that shit up more than the feature on that motherfucker on my mother. That's it. I ain't gonna lie. That's like it. He had my bro. chain before he dropped that mixtape. That mixtape would have went. That shit would have went triple that. I'm just here to tell you, I'm a marketing genius, bro. I'm These niggas good. ain't trying to get no money, bro. These niggas ain't trying to be lit for real. These niggas trying to hold a nigga down. <laughs> niggas ain't trying to be lit. I could have. I could have put a nigga together. I could have put the perfect player together. I could have blew that motherfucker up, bro. Niggas say I'm, I'm here to tell you. All I'm here to tell you. If a shot glizzy and the glizzy mixtape, just shy and alone, I do more numbers than the whole glizzy game mixtape. Mm. Not even because of the music, not because of the beats, not because of nothing, just because of who the people are. Mm.